you to make a quick video of heater replacement. Uh, I got the heaters here. The burnt ones are right there. Yesterday got so hot, it burned the wire and burned the concrete. <laughs> Uh, so what we're gonna do is remove the screws that are removed already That plate comes off we have everything already exposed We're gonna come off or we're gonna take this off and slip the heaters right in through there Pass the wiring in through here and wire it up Everything's connected uh, Parallel not in series. So it should be just straightforward just one pair and one pair and the same thing with this so we're gonna go ahead and wire that up let me go ahead and remove this and we should get started all right we have the uh, base for the uh, jaws the knives here and all we're gonna do is just simply slide in these heater tubes just like so all the way in pushing all the way through all right now that we have the heaters in there and secured I'm gonna show you a little trick that I learned from a good friend and mechanic to get this uh, cables ran from in here all the way out to here so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna use a zip tie and some electrical tape we're gonna put this right in the end and tape it up and loop and send it in through there. All right, so there it is. You could actually loop it with the little locking mechanism on there, but just for the purpose of it not getting stuck, I don't mind losing one and chopping it up. So there it is. Now, we're just gonna run this whole zip tie right in through here and it should just slide right out first what we got to do is put this back into place you want to make sure you insert your thermocouple there's a little hole right there for the thermocouple the thermocouple is what gives up the reading of the temperature up in the display all right once you have that put in place you don't want to bolt it down, you just want to make sure it's nice and snug. You insert your zip tie. Your zip tie is going to come out through here. And uh, you just make sure all the wires are nice and tucked in. And you pull through. Alright, so now you just gently pull this out. And what you could also do is help it by feeding it in. Like so. And help this pull it out. Feed it in and pull it out and there it is here's our wires here's our two set of wires we just pulled and here's our zip tie and the way you want to do it is uh it has a heat shrink on here so it has two little levels you want to separate the levels like i did here heat shrink and no heat shrink so the other heat shrink is down here so it gives it that gap so it could get in there nice and smooth and it doesn't get stuck and tape up the wire ends so that way it does not get caught in anything. And there it is. Thank you, Dani. You saved a lot of time by doing so. So let's go ahead and wire it up now. All right, so here are our four heaters. And like I said, we're just gonna connect them parallel, not in series. So we're just gonna go one wire, one wire, one wire one wire and hook these up together and hook up the other ones together all right so i have them all connected parallel now as you can see one heater goes to one set of wires the other goes to the other set same thing goes to all four heaters here so now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little connector a little fork connector on it and bolt it down right in here actually these two up here all right, we have a little fork connector there. We're just gonna go ahead and crimp it down. Can't really get it to focus on the camera. But there it is, nice and crimped. Give it a little snug. All right, cool, it ain't going nowhere. We're gonna do the other one now. 
Okay, they both have their connectors, and now we're just gonna go ahead and connect these. It does not matter which way it goes. Just like so, and bolt these down, and go pop our breaker, make sure it works. All right, we're back here at our control panel. This is the one that flips. We're gonna go ahead and flip it. Let's see if it doesn't pop. Sweet, it did not. Let's go make sure our heaters are working. All right, and I could feel it getting hot already. So the heaters are working. Oh yeah, it's getting hot. <laughs> so all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and secure this, put the lid back on, and make sure everything's working properly. You want to do before you put everything back together you want to make sure you snug these wires back in here make sure everything's nice and tight and then put your case back on what you're gonna have to do is also align this oh my gosh that's hot and the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna turn this to be positioned right at the closing section just like so that way you make sure the surface is nice and flat now we're gonna bolt these down all right, so just go ahead and bolt this down. Same thing with this one. All right, so now it should be properly aligned here. And now it's bolted down. And time to put the cover back on and give it a try. All right, everything's in place. All the shields are in place. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Wait for it to boot up. All right, let's go to heating. And let's see what the temperature reads. It's enabled. Oh, I have a set point to 20. Let's go ahead and move that to 120. This one, 120. And there they go. Look at the lower jaws, lower jaws is going. Up the jaws, it's taking its time, but it'll get there eventually. All right, so there it goes, 62, 38, 32. Whoa, what's going on over here? Well, the jaws, the ones that we're fixing, the heaters, is fixed. Now we have a problem with the first roller. This one right here. The thermal couple is not working for it. Actually, I'm sorry, it's this one. This one's the first roller, this is the second roller. The first roller is not activating. It shows it's off. The thermal couple is bad on this. Or it's not connected correctly. Here's the wiring down here. And I was messing with this one and look, it's loose. This is for the thermal couple. This was nice and tight. These are the ones for the heater. So let's go up there and check it out now. It's still not working. So more than likely, the thermal couple is bad in here. So let's go ahead and make another video of how to replace the thermal couple. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.